This flyer was being distributed at University of Michigan. The version you see here is a high-res version, but instead of the unamusementpark.com logo, it shows a different logo, like this. And more of these types of things are showing up in more places. And what have we done to stop it? Nothing, because, you know, after all, according to so many people with this growing belief system that's maturing into the full-on fascism that it actually is, black people should expect to have physical wrath put on them if they don't 100% comply with demands that can't actually be fully met. Because, as a well-known YouTuber falling into this same fascist mindset once said, she didn't comply. She didn't comply. But, but, but she didn't comply. So let's check out dailystormer.com. An article entitled, A Normie's Guide to the Alt-Right. Ooh, look, the core identity of the current alt-right originates from the highly intellectual meme and trolling culture which was birthed on 4chan in the devil aughts. Oh, let me tell you, just so intellectual. If it's edgy and goes against progress, it must be right. It is right. It's the alt-right. Shop smart. Shop s-smart. And as more people push similar messages as Davis Arini and Roosh V, the plot thickens. And here's them defining the word normie, which you can pause and read or whatever. Here's a continuation of the didn't do nothing meme. Here's their definition of cuck. Here's them pushing that whole, it's white genocide, crap. Here's them describing the term 1488. Here's them denying the Holocaust. Here they're saying, if Trump wins, we are going to have an opportunity to directly influence his administration. If we organize ourselves properly and develop a cohesive constituency, the latter we already have. I'd estimate numbering it four to six million people. If Trump loses, we are going to have an opportunity to very vocally blame the Jews for his loss, which will serve our purposes nearly as much as a Trump win. Either way, the future is very bright. As long as everyone involved keeps doing exactly what they're doing now, we can only continue to expand. There is no other option. Our ideas are winning. The only threat of failure is if in trying to go mainstream, we decide to compromise. However, because of the nature of this internet-based movement, where the mob has a very real voice and can say loudly when they disagree with the direction something is going in, there is not any real chance anyone pushing a compromise could be successful. We already have a situation where anyone trying to go soft gets e-lynched for it, and that isn't going away. Whatever the end result of our great work is, I know for certain history will remember us. So some of you want to have certain beliefs without having the label of those beliefs. The way things are right now on the internet, if you support even one feminist principle, then you're considered a feminist SJW regressive cuck. But some of you want to have beliefs that support the majority of principles behind white nationalism and white supremacy, with only the part about Jews being what is often differed from. And we're not supposed to label you as white nationalists or white supremacists? And we definitely aren't allowed to say that you're the real regressives that are repeating the exact same patterns as to how the Nazis came into power. And we couldn't say that. That would be offensive. And, and how dare you say bad things about our regressive beliefs? Because, you know, only people who say edgy, bigoted things are intellectuals, right? Some people who try to make themselves look like open-minded and welcoming people will actually defend white nationalism as if it's a good thing and then be all like, white supremacy is bad and we're not the bad guys. Nationalism is a good thing as if the outcomes of either ideology is substantially different from one another. It's kind of looking like the only way we can really fight this is to support 
the government cramming multiculturalism down everyone's throats and potentially in the future support the idea of a one world government that also pushes for multiculturalism. Yeah, I know that's a hard one to swallow, but the patterns that are coming up, a culture war of sorts, people declaring that white people are specifically under attack, is being led by the regular right wing and the alt-right. The method of taking care of this disgusting, growing mindset is not to be pushing for somewhere in the center. The result may eventually show itself more in the center, but the method of doing it has to match the force of the opposite side. If you just push for more of a centered position, they will still take us heavily towards the right. I would rather lose the ability to criticize religion and lose the ability to criticize other groups via a one-world government and fly a United Nations flag than watch the country I love figuratively replace the United States flag with a swastika. We must be vigilant in making sure we do not repeat the mistakes of history.